Assalamu alaikum. Hello, my dear students. How are you? Hope that all of you are fine. I am also fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. My dear students, during to the outbreak of epidemic COVID-19, we are passing through a critical time still now. I hope all of you are staying at home safely in this pandemic situation. My dear students, I think you have taken the right decision by choosing Milestone College. Our motto is learn and lead. Milestone College is not only the leader in academic success, but also it has an outstanding achievement in extracurricular activities. That is why I think you have chosen the best institutions for your academic career for the next two years. Milestone College has been conducting online multimedia classes since the beginning of the lockdown. In its continuation, all of you are welcome to my today's class. This is Mohsin Kovid, lecturer, Department of Biology, Milestone College, Dhaka. So my dear students, let's move to the class. My dear students, now you are in a new class, new syllabus, new subject and new challenges. So utilize every second to prepare yourself for the bright future and I hope you will do so. Today we are going to start a new subject which is biology second paper also known as geology. Do you have any idea what is the definition of geology or which types of topics are discussed in this subject? Okay. Geology is a branch of biology in which all about animals, their classification, nature of structure, life activities, evolution, natural activities and importance are discussed in the light of the knowledge gained by research. So it is all about life science so that I hope you will enjoy it. Today we are going to start the first chapter of geology which is animal diversity and classification. Our today's topics are animal diversity, basis of animal classification including body shape, way of living, levels of organization, cleavage and germ layer. So my dear students, let's move to the main discussion. learning objectives after completing today's class students will be able to learn what is animal diversity what is classification what does it mean by level of organization what is cleavage what is germ layer what is diploblastic animal and what is Triploblastic animal. At first, I am going to discuss with you about animal diversity. The word diversity means variety. The genetic diversity, species diversity, and ecosystem diversity of all living animals that live on the soil, air and the water of the earth is called animal diversity. In a simple sentence, uh, animal diversity means the diversity or variety between all the members of living animals.
there are three types of animal diversity present in nature number one genetic diversity number two species diversity and number three ecosystem diversity so at first genetic diversity the diversity between the members of same species is called genetic diversity like homo sapiens genetic diversity is also known as intraspecific diversity you can see on the screen three members of homo sapiens but all of them are not same in appearance and characteristics only because of genetic diversity this is also known as intraspecific diversity now species diversity the diversity between the members of different species is called species diversity panthera tigris and panthera leo both of the animals from same genus but different species this is called species diversity now ecosystem diversity or ecological diversity ecosystem diversity is the variety of global uh, biological communities for ecosystem in a geographical area white bear of tundra biome and black bear of forest biome due to ecological diversity these two animals uh, are different only because of ecological diversity or ecosystem diversity now classification and why it is needed you know large number of animal species and plant species already discovered in the world it is so tough to memorize all the species individually that is why classification is needed so what is classification the ordering of organisms into groups or sets on the basis of their similarities and dissimilarities is called classification basis of animal classification the important criteria used in animal classification are discussed below in brief number 1 body shape on the basis of body shape animals are two types one is micro animals another is macro animals so what is micro animals this animals cannot be seen with eyes normally like bacteria it cannot be seen with eyes normally number 2 macro animals these are large in shape so it can be seen with eyes normally like deer number 2 way of living on the basis of way of living animals are two types one is free living another is parasite free living means that means these animals move freely for an example 
कोलंबा लिबिया पैरासाइट दिस एनिमल्स डिपेंड ऑन अदर्स फॉर फूड एंड शेल्टर लाइक फेसियोला हेपेटिका फ्रॉम प्लाटी हेलमेंथिस दिस पैरासाइट फाउंड इन ह्यूमन बींग ऑल्सो इन साम अदर स्पीसीस Now, level of organization. Do you know what is the basic structural unit of living beings or living body? Okay, cell. Cell is the structural and functional unit of living body. A number of cell together form tissue. A number of tissue together form a organ. Different organ together form. organ system so the ordering of complexity increasing consequently so what will be the definition of level of organization each level of ordering complexity in the cellular structure of animals is called level of organization on the basis of level of organization animals can be classified in four categories number 1 cellular level of organization in this case animal body is arranged by only few cells like porifera for example scypha or spons from phylum porifera all the members of porifera belongs to the criteria number 2 cell tissue level of organization in this case cells are originate from same source and perform same functions together form tissue example nidaria all the members of nidaria are belong to this criteria for an example hydra number 3 tissue organ level of organization in this case different types of tissue together form specific organ example platyhelminthes all the members of platyhelminthes are belong to this criteria fasciola hepatica member of platyhelminthes number 4 organ system level of organization in developed animals different organs together form organ system example nematoda to chordata all the animals from those phylum are belong to this criteria that means those animals are developed animals cabia porcellus from chordata now cleavage what is cleavage cleavage basically is a divisional process of zygote the way in which the zygote divides constantly through mitosis cell division and produced embryo is called cleavage the cells are produced through the cleavage process is called blastomere on the basis of divisional surface or division plane cleavages are three types radial cleavages bilateral cleavages spiral cleavages at first radial cleavages in this case blastomeres arranged in a radial symmetry around the divisional surface radial cleavage found in arthropoda number 2 bilateral cleavage results in the two halves being mirror images of one another that results in a bilaterally symmetrical embryo bilateral cleavage found in phylum chordata and finally spiral cleavage 
in this case the first two divisions of zygote are oriented in the plane that occur a right angle parallel to the animal vegetal axis of zygote example annelida and mollusca that means spiral cleavage found in annelida and mollusca Now, germ layer. This is the last topic of today's class. Germ layer is the primary layer of cells that form during embryonic development. In the gastrulation period of embryonic development, a membranes are originated, which is called germ layer. On the basis of germ layer, animals are two types. Number one, diploblastic animal, and number two, triploblastic animal. When ectoderm and endoderm are present in the embryo of animal is called diploblastic animal. That means only two layers present in the embryo. Between these two layer between ectoderm and endoderm and non-living layers present in diploblastic animal which is called mesoglia. Mesoglia act as endoskeleton in diploblastic animal. Now uh, for an example nidaria all the members of nidaria are diploblastic now triploblastic when the ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm all three layers germ layers are present in the embryo of animal is called Triploblastic animal. Example, Platyhelminthes to Chordata. All the animals belong uh, to this phylum are triploblastic. There is no mesoglia present in triploblastic animal. So, my dear students, some homework for you from today's topics. Write down the differences between diploblastic animal and triploblastic animal and submit the homework to your respective subject teacher or submit it to your respective SW group. So, my dear students, I hope all of you understood all the topics that I discussed today. And yet, if you have any further questions about today's topics, please ask your respective subject teacher my dear students please follow the instructions of your fm and subject teacher and attend your zoom classes and online classes regularly that's all for today thank you for being with me stay home and stay safe allah hafiz